Hey Flight Director Mary Lawrence. Oh, hey. Do you think you have a few minutes to tell us everything about Mission Control Houston? Sure. So, can we follow you into the control room? Yeah, let's go. I'm about to start my shift. So, what's it like in Mission Control? We fly spaceships. It's awesome. Do you have a shift every day? Not every day. I have a string of shifts every few weeks. How many shifts are there per day? Three. And um, how many other flight directors are there? There's 26. Oh man, I hope I'm allowed back here. So what exactly does a flight director do? The flight director is the lead of the flight control team, so they're the final decision maker in all human spaceflight operations. What's a flight controller? They do all the work. What was your first day on console like? It was pretty quiet. The crew was sleeping. Is this mission control? This is one of the back rooms that supports. Oh, how many back rooms are there? There's several. How many people support the people in mission control? Could be a handful, could be hundreds during busy times. What is done in the back rooms that helps out the flight controllers? They're kind of the second set of eyes. They help out the workload at each of the consoles. Where's the real mission control? In here. Oh, can we go in? Sure. Whoa. So this is mission control. This is it. What mission is controlled here? International Space Station. Where do you control other missions? Down the hall, around the corner. How many control rooms are in this building? There's three. How many people are usually in this room? Could be six, could be 20 some. Is there assigned seating? There is. What do the patches mean? These patches represent missions that have been flown out of this room. What time does it close? We never close. How many mission controls support the space station across the world? Primarily, there's five across the world. So this is where the flight director sits? It is. Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, what's the hardest part about being a flight director? Constantly being aware that there's six people on orbit who are dependent on you to keep them safe. And the most rewarding? Seeing them return safely to Earth when their mission's complete. How many acronyms do you have to learn? TMTC. What did you study in school to prepare for being a flight director? Mechanical engineering. So, are there a lot of pilots that are flight controllers? Some are, but it's not a requirement to do the job. How long do you have to train to be a flight controller? It takes about a year. What's that training like? Pretty vigorous. We simulate ISS onboard operations, only we break a lot more stuff. They're called simulations, right? That's correct. How long can they last? About a, the length of a shift, so about nine hours. What's the coolest part about working in this room? Understanding all the history that's happened here over the years. So when you switch shifts, how long is that handover? About 30 to 45 minutes. Are all the systems run from desktops? That's correct. Do you deal with the same software up updates we do? Yes, we have to keep our computers free from viruses too. So what does this button hey, do? Oh, no. Uh, sorry about that. Um, so what are you listening to? They're called voice loops. And how many people do you listen to at one time? Hopefully only one if I'm doing my job correctly. Does the flight director fly the space station? Not exactly. So who does? Sir Isaac Newton does. So, is that true, Mary? ADCO helps. Oh, hey ADCO. Um, so, what exactly does ADCO stand for? Attitude Determination and Control Officer. That explains the bat. So, how do you deal with orbital debris? We use thrusters on the Russian segment and get out of the way. Can astronauts fly the station from the inside? They sure can. Is there a cruise control? It's a little more complicated than that. Can you make the station do a barrel roll? I could. I probably wouldn't be here much longer. Do you need a spaceship driver's license? That's my certification. So, Mary, uh, each flight controller looks at a specific part? That's right. Everyone has a very specific responsibility as part of the team. Does everyone talk to the astronauts? Not everyone. That's Capcom's job. I heard that you have to be an astronaut to be a Capcom. Not all the Capcoms are astronauts. Some are former flight controllers or instructors. So, is there a phone number for the International Space Station? Yes. Could you um, just uh, type it in my phone really quick? We'll call you. Oh, okay. Well, what is the time zone of the space station? Greenwich Mean Time, GMT. Why is that? There's control centers all over the world, so we just picked somewhere in the middle. What is a shift like when the crew is sleeping? It's pretty quiet. We're mostly just planning for the next day. Are you allowed food and drink in here? Yes. What happens if a flight controller gets sick? We call someone else. What happens if an astronaut gets sick? They call the doctor here on the ground and take a sick day if they need to. Oh, who's sitting here? This is ground control. What does ground control do? 
Ground Control is responsible for everything here on the ground. Oh, hey Ground Control, is there any communication delay from the ground to orbit? Uh, not really. And how often do you lose signal from the station? A couple times per shift. How long do those last? Could be anywhere from one minute to 30 minutes. What happens if Mission Control loses power? We have backup power. How high are the satellites that communicate with the station? 23,000 miles. And how high is the station? 250 miles. What's the official language on the station? Actually, the remote interface officer would know that one. Oh, it's English. Do flight controllers know multiple languages? Dakinyeshna. So Mary, how fast does the station orbit the Earth? 17,500 miles per hour. Okay, give me some context. So that's five miles a second. That's from here to New York City in four and a half minutes. Is there a speed limit? Sort of. We don't have enough time for the details. So how many times does the station pass over mission control every day? Sometimes not at all. Sometimes a couple times a day. Uh, we like to go out and wave hello to the crew as they pass over. How many times has the station orbited the Earth? Over 100,000. Have you flown any other missions in this room? This is the former shuttle flight control room. So, um, what's going on right now? This is called LOS. It's a temporary loss of signal. This is when we take our breaks. And what do you get to do on those breaks? We play Yahtzee. Just kidding. We get food, we go to the bathroom, we get coffee. Do you think any future missions will be controlled from this building? Possibly. Could be the Orion missions. EM-1 and EM-2 are flown from here. What is the farthest any human has ever traveled? We've been to the moon, so the Apollo 13 crew has been 250,000 miles from Earth. Wow. What is the longest time a NASA astronaut has ever been in space? Commander Scott Kelly was on orbit for 340 days. It's almost a year. Wow, that's a long time. But how long will those Mars missions be? Could be a year, maybe two. Wow. OK, so one last question. Is failure an option? No. Well, thank you, Mary, for taking your time to answer everything about mission control. I'm sure there are more questions, but we'll save those for another time. Sure. Take care. Bye.